and rip and mark. Hello gamers, my name is Dudart and welcome back to this strange little world that I built with a bloody pressure plate that didn't blow me up, annoyingly. Anyway, I figured that considering I haven't played Minecraft in quite some time since Oh, I was estimating roughly beta 1.9, I think, but, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, I think on reflection I've probably played a little bit of, well, probably up to about 2.5, because that's what Tech It is based on, Tech It I've been playing anyway. Uh, and so I figured I'm going to play a little bit of vanilla Minecraft. Did I get that? Hmm. Let's see, I probably need to use a pick or something. Right. Uh, well, what was I saying? Yeah, I figured, considering I haven't played much since Tech It and roughly Minecraft Vanilla 2.5, I would play a little bit more and try and get used to some things that I am not used to at the moment. Things like, uh, was it potion making? Making potions? Uh, things like... Uh, enchantment and witches and bats and oh god knows loads of other stuff that I don't really know what I'm doing with. I thought it'd be quite a good opportunity to learn, really, to be honest. And I figure while I'm learning, I might as well record it because you know some funny shit might happen. Uh, I don't think I need anything else from down there, do I? Uh, so this is the first time I've been in a temple. I'm stuck. Just glitching out a little bit. Uh, and so I just going to look around, really. Ooh. Ah. I think I think it's kind of bugged out. I think it sort of has spawned in the ground or something. Oh, there's the door, clearly. Crap ton of creepers up here, probably. Uh, I can't remember where it was that I went in. That's the place all the way down the bottom there. Oh, that's where I went in, wasn't it? Uh, I think one of the first things that I need to do is probably build up this village a little bit. Uh, probably extend it, make no more houses, make sure there's lots of villagers. Clean it up a bit, because again, this one's sort of spawned in the ground a bit. And I think I might build a big bloody wall around it, and light the place up so that we don't get a crap ton of villagers and zombies getting killed. And, you know what I mean. I don't mean zombies getting killed, I mean villagers getting killed by the zombies. Speaking of which, where's he then? You can't go at me and not tell me where you are. There's the testificate in a lab coat in there. Got yeah, there's one in there trying to get out. I've trapped them all in to save them from getting killed by the zombies. They'll be alright, stuck in their houses for now. That's a nice big house, that one. Might put a wall down the middle of it and a door on the other side. Uh, sand, I actually have plenty of sandstone as well. Nice. I wonder if uh, separating this into two. See, I'm not very experienced with playing with all the mobs. I was looking at some of like uh, Nemson's videos. Uh, yeah, I was watching some of Nemson's videos, and he was going on about you know, Ender farms and stuff like that. And I have no idea how to use any of that stuff. I don't even know what I'm doing with bloody redstone. 
I just know your basic basic Minecraft. How to build stuff, how to kill stuff with swords, and how to craft most of the things in Minecraft. There we go. So that's effectively built another house, maybe? I don't know. I might get some more villagers turning up eventually. But I think what I'll have to do is wall it off first so that they can all roam and breed. Do they breed like normal animals? I don't know. Maybe they just multiply. There's a few of them in there. There's like three of them in there. You know, as you can see, I've put like blocks of dirt. In front of them. There's one, two in there, I think. So yeah, that will be the little intro for this bit of the video, and I will kind of pause recording and come back to it once I've built a bloody great big wall around the whole village, I think. Yeah, it might take me some time, it's quite a large area, because I'd quite like to incorporate the, the pyramid or whatever you call it, the temple thing, into it as well. I'm going to take that sign down and use some of that wood. Got some wood. Chop down more trees. Yeah, I think that's a plan. Excellent. All right, I will see you in a few minutes. So, hello, welcome back. Uh, I've built a big wall around the top of here. Got rid of the sides, stuff like that. Placed about two stacks of torches in here to hope that any mobs don't spawn. It's just about to be night time, so I can kind of prove it, I guess. Check and see if it's worked. Um, from last time, made myself some tools. I used two of my diamonds to make a sword. I figured swords more needed than pick, to begin with at least. Just a bit dark over here. Let's put one in here. Um, so yeah, it took me a little while to get a load of wood and build this wall. Um, I haven't obviously flattened all the ground out and neatened up the whole area. Not yet, anyway. I've got some sand I can put in. A bit. Yeah, much better. Um, yeah, I'm not quite sure how to do it, because if you look at the levels, I mean, that building over there is so much lower down than, say, this one over here. I might just have to do a series of sort of hills and little snaking things. I want to build some little grassy patches where I can plant some, I don't know, flowers and stuff like that. Make it look all pretty. Yeah. Uh, and obviously I had to go mining for a buttload of coal to make more torches. Built some other random tools. I used my iron pick almost to breaking point, and I'm going to save that little bit for diamonds when I find them. So I'm going to revert back to the stone pick for now. And I think I'm going to go down a mine because I have a mine down here somewhere where I found all my coal originally. Gosh, dark in here. I do get attacked by spiders when I come out of here, so I'm just going to light this area up a little bit. Okay, I can get back down my hole. So this is obviously where the, like if you follow it all the way down here, this is where those chests are and the TNT and stuff is. Let's light that up. I was really scared then that I just used a redstone torch and that TNT was going to be off. I don't know why. It's not like I've found any redstone yet, let alone made a redstone torch. Uh, so I found a bit of iron down here and some coal. I would like to get rid of him. Eat my last piece of bread. Not my mum. Uh, and yeah, I would like to find some more diamonds. Because that way I can make myself diamond pick, then get myself some obsidian, uh, go to the nether, and make myself. Yeah, make myself uh, an enchantment table. Start enchanting some stuffs. Shouldn't take me too long, I don't think. 
I love that you get uh, experience from mining now. It makes so much sense. And as you can see, I'm level 13, starting to stack up them experiences. If I open up my chat, you can see I only died once. Bloody creeper snuck up on me. There's a few big holes in the middle of the village, unfortunately, but like I said, I still need to sort out all that, that flooring, and so that'll get sorted out at the same time. You can probably hear that car alarm outside, can't you? It's the joys of living in the centre of town, I'm afraid. Oh, thank God for that. Strangely, I get used to it, so I don't actually hear it for a while. It takes me a few minutes to recognise it exists. He dropped a carrot? Really? Oh, hello. Don't really want to eat a zombie carrot. Mm, zombie carrot. Ooh. It's cold. I hear a skeleton down there somewhere. It's a bit of a weird twisty turny bits around here. There he is. Eeks. Run away from him for now. What? Why is there a zombie bashing on a door? Times like this, I'd appreciate to have uh, what is it, Rise Minimap or something, so I can see what's above me without having to dig there. Ow, ow. Okay, it's here. Mm. Uh, select, pick, kill all mobs. Jeez. A bit intense. Eating a zombie carrot. Mm. Zombie carrot. I've got a, a couple, wow, lots of arrows in me, but I've got a bit more iron, got some legs and boots. Oh, ow. I wonder if he's going to give me that enchanted bow. No, of course he bloody is. <clears throat> As you can see, I've put some cactuses outside the front doors, because I figure the creatures might be a bit stupid enough to walk into them. Supposedly, the uh, AI, mob AI has been improved. Yeah, get rid of him safely. Where the hell was that hole that I just came up out of? There it is. Do -do, back down to the caves. So, to find diamond, I need to go a lot lower, don't I? I'm pretty close to the surface, actually, up here. Uh, which way should I go? This way? Uh, hello, friend. Bastard. At least he didn't do any damage to me. I can get that stone, can't I? That's good. Ah, here we go. Let's go down. Down into the depths. Use this gravel somehow to make myself a staircase. Not that. Fuck it. 
really can't be bothered. Oh, I've lots more iron, that's nice. Normally I would uh, do all of my mining and stuff off screen because I think it could be pretty boring, but just wanted to give it a go, just see what it looked like, see if it was entertaining. See if it makes anyone rage at how bad I am at Minecraft combat. Oh, oh, oh. Where did he go? Oh, ah. <laughs> That's the first bat I've ever seen. Myself, at least. Where's he going? He's going to lead me towards the diamonds. Go, Batty, go! Oh, I probably shouldn't call him Batty, should I? That's all kinds of offensive to all kinds of people. Well, one in particular. Uh. Okay. It's kind of dead end like. Uh, right, okay, I'm about to do something exceedingly boring and literally just mine down to bedrock in a staircase-like fashion. So I guess I will cut it there and see you on the other side.